Hey, this is Daniel back once again. And this video, we are going to concentrate on math and science on the GED prep classes. Now, just like language arts and social studies were tied together because they involve the most reading, math and science are tied together because they involve the most math. They're set up the exact same way. There is a practice test, which is the closest that you're going to get to mimicking the GED ready and also the GED official test. You'll have your lessons right here, science skills and science domains involved with a pre-test, lessons and post-test. Now generally math is the hardest subject for students to pass. It is usually also the last subject that people pass. And if you've been through the fundamentals and also the foundations, then once you get to this GED prep, you begin with numbers, ratios and percentages, exponents and roots, but then very quickly you start getting into geometry, data and statistics, expressions, which is algebra, you can see how many you have linear e equations, polynomials, rational equations, quadratic equations, graphs and functions, learning the slope of a line. So I can understand if, if this seems kind of daunting. However, Aztec does do a good job with its pre-test, its lessons, and its post-test to offer you the best distance learning resource, in my opinion, to help you pass the GED math and science. Let's look at this math test. So you can see this one's just a just a straight uh, multiple choice option. However, it starts asking you for the dimensions of a box, for the surface area, for the capacity. So all of this will be went over and explained in these lessons. So as always, take the pretest, do your absolute very best. If you're not sure, then just make the best educated guess you can. Go through these lessons and take the post test. And if you get hung up on something, then you can go back and review. So. We have been through the fundamentals. We have been through the foundations. We have discussed additional resources for you, study skills, ready for work, and computer literacy. But keep in mind that these four right here, these GED prep classes, is what your ultimate goal is, is to be able to get familiar and learn these lessons. And once you learn these lessons, you should have all the resources and the knowledge to be able to pass the GED. As a distance learning student, you will be working mostly on your own. However, remember our, our center is always available for any questions or encouragement. And watch out for future videos that we will be posting just to try to help you, give you additional resources on YouTube perhaps, or additional paper-based resources. And I wish you the best of luck on your GED, and I know you can do it, and I know that Aztec can help you do it. So I hope you have a good day, and if you ever need anything, my name's Daniel Lee, and I'm available anytime to help you. Have a good day.